Hello everybody, Jordan T Mystic here and today we are here with a brand new finished sketchbook. Yes, this is my sketchbook, the last sketchbook of 2021. So I want to give you guys a sketchbook tour here today through my moleskin sketchbook. So let's get started. As you can see, I have the Stomping a Mud Hole sticker on the front cover of the sketchbook. I like to use the Moleskin XLs. Um, I learned to use those from Jake Parker. And the sticker thing I also get from Jake Parker. But I'm starting to think that maybe it's time to put a little bit more pizzazz into it. I'd like to start to paint the covers. Uh, there's plenty more sketchbooks where this one came from. We're going to do plenty more sketchbook tours. But today we're just going to go through the last one of 2021 so we can get to the next lot. Um, so this sticker is from my friend Jedi Jack Yeti. The sticker was also featured in my sketchbook EDC pencil case kit. So let's get into the first page. All right. Father and Son. This one's called Father and Son. Um, as we'll go through the other sketchbooks later on in the year, this piece is the third or fourth in a series I was sort of doing on and off. I like to do these series in my sketchbooks where I tend to get up early and I put together these uh, drawings just to start my day so that I don't. Um, essentially it's my training process. Uh, I like to do these series and I'll come back to some of these ideas and this is one of those. I'm not really super fond of those eyes but I really like what, I ha what happened with the father there. It really... Um, this one's, this one's my conne about my connection with me and my son, so I really like this one. Let's uh, move on to the next page. This is Mother and Child. This one, I was uh, very much thinking about my own mother, and I was thinking about the mother of my children, my beautiful fiancé, and I wanted to do just a little illustration. I like to do, like, quick illustrations some mornings. I believe at this time... I was uh, still working a day job, so there's going to be a lot of quick sketches in the front of this. I didn't get much chance to fill them out. Um, as you can see, this one here. So, I didn't say before, this sketchbook was begun on the 27th of September. So, that's towards the end of September. And this is around the time when I went back to work at the beginning of October. So, this is Milo Thatch from Disney's Atlantis, The Lost Empire. As you can see, there's a lot of Disney studies in here. This is a Haiti study. I notice there's a lot of times where I just don't finish sort of inking things out because I either just don't like the drawing or it was just a study just to quickly get it out of my head. This here is the Barn Owl Luchador. So the Barn Owl is a big character for me. It's, um, it's an animal that speaks to me. I'm not going to call it my spirit animal. I don't think that's fair to say, but... It certainly is an animal that I find myself wearing a lot of jewellery of and pins and, and all, all sorts. And it calls to me, it often keeps coming back to me in my work. And this is a luchador mask I designed around that. Here's some Aladdin studies, uh, some just rough sketching again uh, at the beginning of October back last year. Just doing some studies. Um, this is Dr. Doppler from Treasure Planet. And then... Another treasure planet, we have Jim Hawkins here. At this point here, I started actually doing some stuff as I came home from work as well. Um, so I'd fill in things in between editing videos and, and um, doing commission work. This is a Hercules study. Hercules, the Disney character. I couldn't quite figure him out. A couple of these sort of are a little bit rough there. So, And then we have Darkwing Duck. Who remembers Darkwing Duck? This is a Darkwing Duck study so that I could get to the next piece. Um, I do like to do watercolors and such in my sketchbooks, but around this time I really only had time for pen and ink and I was doing a lot of ink uh, practice as well. I really like to do these sketchbooks as far as um, practicing. They're sort of a practice place for me and there are an ideas working out or there is just this is where I do my studies. There's that Darkwing Duck. And then this here, this is, oh, this is one of my favorites. This one I'm going to be translating sooner rather than later. This is myself and my partner as Coco characters in the uh, Day of the Dead, um, Land of the Dead sensibility. I did this one Saturday morning um, while my partner was at work. She works weekends and man, I really love this. Sent it over to her. She loved it too. It was really nice. Okay, that's a stitch study I started doing and I was having so much trouble doing stitch that I had to 
Um, I had to stop. I just, my brain couldn't wrap my head around the character that day. I think I was super tired as well, to be honest with you. Pogo, Disney's 101 Dalmatians. So like the uh, old, the vintage Pogo. I was doing some dog studies and some Disney animal studies. Um, then now we can get into the good stuff. This is the Shadow Man from... So this is another one of those Disney studies. Shadow Man from the Princess and the Frog. All right. Now we have Sebastian. Sebastian from uh, The Little Mermaid. Uh, so Sebastian, again, another character I was rushing through that morning. I couldn't quite wrap my head around it. I'm realizing I've pulled open the one sketchbook that was sort of during my rushed period. But that's, that's okay. That's sort of showing you what I was doing at the time. It's like a nice little journal. So this was a study of, I can't remember the artist's name, but I really liked the style in which they created uh, their females. And then I sort of dressed her as the character from, uh, at this time I was really going through a lot of animation studies, especially stuff from my childhood. But this was the character from The Road to El Dorado. I can't remember her name because it's not written down here. Let me know in the comments what her name is. Here we go. Here's some more Treasure Planet studies. Treasure Planet, my favorite movie. Little morph here. And we have Jim again. Again, this piece I actually tried to time lapse. I actually tried to film it, but my exposure was way too high that what was happening was I was out in the morning inking the whole thing up and filming myself inking it. And the sun was coming up and it just kept overexposing it and I didn't adjust the camera. I went back and looked at the time lapse, but it's there. There's the piece there. So this was a car I drew while I was waiting for my fiance at uh, Costco. She was in Costco and I was sitting in the car just chilling. It was, don't know if I'll ever come back to it. It might just stay there forever. Let me know. Maybe I can make a sticker out of it. This is a lamp, a lamp study that I saw in uh, sitting with a friend and I was drawing the lamp. It was at a local pub. And then this is a study I was doing of someone that was sitting down. I didn't end up actually finishing this study. This is uh, Captain Amelia from Treasure Planet. Again, big fan of Treasure Planet. And, um, and this is a Tarzan study. Um, a really interesting study that one was because especially I've got to come back to Tarzan his his body language is a really fascinating this here is a genie I created um, I like drawing a genie that day I suppose another John Silver I'm really quite proud of this one this one was done with a Pentel brush pen and I was just testing my my line weight uh, with the brush pen and really just doing a a lot of studies there. This is a drawing I did actually, believe it or not, off the top of my head. I'm super proud of this one because this one, again, when you when you see my next sketchbook, um, you'll see that this one actually inspired a whole series of other uh, drawings and character. This is a drawing of my son. I was sitting just chatting with my sister one day and I just started drawing this, this head shape and this just came out. And I discovered this image in my head of my son as a sort of cartoon character in an astronaut outfit. So that was really, really something. I'm um, doing some hand studies there, breaking down the hand into circles and such. Um, this is a little animated tiger study, very quick and mainly I was testing out the uh, ink pen. This here, oh, this is one of my favorites. So I was doing some Moana studies and then I'm a big pro wrestling fan. So I decided to use some of those Moana studies and I created a Roman Reigns, the pro wrestler. I turned him into a Disney character, which I thought was as if he were in the Moana universe, which I thought was really fascinating and really fun to play with. And as you can see, there's some studies there of it. And then there's a major image here um, that has yet to be and it looks like I started something new there and then never came back to it <laughs> But there is a sketch there as well of, of that idea This here is a clock I drew for a thumbnail for a video called I'm gonna put it up in the top for a video about uh, Time and uh, using your time wisely with ADHD. So and I, this ended up being a really I really liked This is one of my favorite thumbnails. I was sort of trying to emulate an image I found on Pinterest of a a watchmaker making his watch and I was it was illustrating a watch so that was really really a cool image this here is a study <laughs> let me do this for you this is a pose study so I was sort of playing with the perspective um, I believe this was a pose of John Silver with a sword in a storyboard image I found on Pinterest I never ended up sort of filling this out but I don't think I was trying to to be honest with you from memory I think it was just a pose study just to understand what was going on in that pose all right, Mulan's grandma, more Disney studies. I think this is the Disney study 
um, era, especially October, I remember doing a lot. Tarzan, another Tarzan study, quick brush pen study. I really, uh, really like this one. Not really fond of what I did with the nose there, but you know, what do you do? Uh, that is, I believe, a Rapunzel study. I really liked the shapeliness of this particular image and I was playing around with the shapes, sort of trying to make it look like my daughter and I as well. Um, gave the guy the beard, the longish hair. And this is Sisu, the dragon. So I have been creating a skateboard um, for my daughter, which is a feng shui, so it's sort of half dragon, half tiger. Um, and this was the first imagery that I had put together to play around with for that skateboard. I was originally gonna do this big dragon, Sisu the dragon from Raya on it, and then I ended up doing uh, this feng shui, yin yang, dragon and tiger sort of thing. That there were some studies I think I abandoned for the next image, the barn owl woman. I really love this one. This is one of the first flat lays I posted on my Instagram as well. You can go and see the full image of this, but I think I saw a creature that was a barn owl, barn owl fish type creature, and then this, this just came to me. This is one of those things that just comes to me. Um, randomly. This here was, um, I was playing with, just like the Roman Reigns thing, I was playing with like a Sting, Sting the uh, pro wrestler. Um, I had gotten into one and then I think I had to go to work and never ended up. I like to start a new page each day, um, just purely based on I'm doing practice in these sketchbooks, but I think I might come back to that idea in a new sketchbook at a later, a later date. This is Mountain Rex. Again, one of the first flat lays I ever posted on my Instagram. Mountain Rex was just a T-Rex type thing. He looks a bit like one of the Digimon, I think it's Agumon. He just sort of reminds me of a toy. <laughs> I think it'd be cool to have a figurine made of this little dude. This is Namari from Raya. We've been watching Raya on repeat at that time. I had done in a previous sketchbook a series of Disney females and I realized I hadn't done Namari, so I did that. And I believe this was an Aaron Blaze study. Call it an elephant. I believe my daughter had called it that. And this was around Halloween. And then obviously this was Halloween stuff. This is some jack-o'-lanterns. I was teaching my daughter how to do jack-o'-lanterns and she'd asked me to do daddy and mummy and river. So I thought that was very cute. And this is, this is where I wanted to get to. So this is the start of a series. As you can see, I've jumped. I must have taken a few days off there. Or around here was when I started thinking about this idea of doing Disney male characters as if they were grown up, a little bit older. So this is Peter Pan. What I really loved about this piece was he's got Captain Hook's hat on. He's got longer hair like Hook, he's grown a beard. Still got those innocent eyes, but he's got Hook's sword now as well. Instead of his little dagger, he's got Hook's sword. So I thought, it would be interesting as if he'd grown up, he would take over for Captain Hook and possibly become friends with him. So it's like a Captain Peter Pan. Uh, then we have another Tarzan study here. I don't know if that was supposed to be older or not. I think I just drew Tarzan once again, because if he were older, I would have put a beard on him. <laughs> This was the DGI Mavic 3 study. So I was studying the new Mavic 3. I'd watched a video uh, by Matty Hapuya. Him and Peter McKinnon were doing a review on this particular DGI, the new Mavic 3 Pro, and it excited me because it looked like a bug. And this is what I ended up with. I wanted to turn that Mavic Pro into a beetle, into a sort of bug-like creature. And, you know, a lot of pencil sketching at this time, a lot of ink tests. All right. Another old Disney character, this is Jim. Jim from Treasure Planet, more Treasure Planet stuff going on here. His little medallion here that he had uh, been given from the ending of Treasure Planet. And I thought it'd be interesting to sort of tell the story visually a little bit how he had have gone to the academy and then possibly left it and become a pirate or something like that. I'd like to think that he's taken over John Silver's position as captain. Sort of grew his hair out, uh, decided on not giving him a beard. I often give beards to older characters, but I'm really proud of that one. I really quite like that one. A bit of Jerry from Tom and Jerry studies there. Wanted to have a bit of a go at some Warner Brothers studies instead. We got old Hercules here. I really like this one because I use some of the elements and the way that the folks at Disney had created Zeus as an older man and sort of curled up Hercules hair a bit, let it grow out a bit. Did that beard and I had a lot of fun doing the flat lay on this one. Had a Hercules medallion. I have this Hercules medallion that says go the distance. You ever see it? Oh, there you go. Look at that. Very shiny. That medallion I put with the flat lay and these ones, these ones are really fun to play with, um, with those flat lays. So he still got the same sort of suit. I was, I did ragged it up a little bit, but just wanted to age him up a bit. 
Now this is middle aged Milo. <laughs> this is Milo Thatch from Atlantis. I uh, put the crystal in his hand because uh, I'd like to imagine that maybe he's lost Kira. And he's got her staff here as well. Got a beard, he's got some of their markings on his face there as well. As if he's sort of hunting for her and he's been out for too long. Ah, old Kristoff. This is one of my favorites. I really, something, something really just worked out with this one. Um, something to do with the inking or something like that. I believe this was a weekend sketch as well, so had a bit of time to do it. But old Kristoff, I really like the idea of the pipe. I love how the smoke turned out here. This is how I like to draw smoke often. It's very stylized and I like to draw hair the same sort of way. But I like to make it look just a little bit different. Still struggling to figure out Stitch. I think I'm, I'm going to get there. I'm going to get there. Ah, this one. I really like this one. So this one I really love doing because it reminded me of my daughter. So what I did here was I made young Triton with little Ariel and he's sort of trying to braid her hair. He's got orange hair, orangey ready hair, which explains where she gets it from because she's the only one in her family who's got red hair. And we got a little baby flounder here. He's trying to do her braids. I really like it because it feels like he's um, really trying as a father. So I really like that one. Um, and obviously I did that with watercolors, this watercolor palette here that's in front of us. This one here, I actually don't know what was going on there. I think I was playing with some sticker ideas or something. I'm not, started with some expression studies and then started doing some sticker ideas. Here we go, draw something. That was a sticker idea. So uh, never finished that. I didn't really like how it turned out. It wasn't quite clicking with what was in my head. Ah, old man Maui. This is one of my favorites. I think I want to make a print of this or something. Old man Maui gave him a beard. Got that hair a little bit longer. Some tattoos. And as you can see here, he's got a tattoo of Moana fighting Taka right on his chest there, which I thought was cool. I really like the way that the detail and everything on this turned out. And old man Aladdin. I believe this, is this the last? It is. Aladdin is uh, a little bit older here. I really played with those sorts of shapes with the hair there. I like this and the the brush strokes that I really enjoy playing with the uh, the uh, brush pens and everything here just giving that sort of extra uh, detail to the hair and everything like that I'm really still very proud of this playing with the eye shape and everything like that so but that's that folks um, that is the end of this sketchbook tour now when did that one finish that one may not have been the last oh it was the last full sketchbook I'd finished in 2021 so that was 20th of the 11th 2021 so that was beginning of september till almost the end of november if you would like to learn how i manage to fill these sketchbooks every single month then go and watch my morning routine video over here as you can see i have a handful of other sketchbooks and this is only a couple of them we have plenty more where all that came from so we'll do plenty more of these videos if that is what you want to see more of my sketchbooks and do these sketchbook tours i love doing them for you if you would like to get a copy of my art book the art of 2020 and 2021 um, you can get that you can get that at my website go to jordantmystic.com hit the shop button at the top that will take you to my etsy you can get the digital version of the sketchbook there we don't have hard copies just yet we're still trying to figure that out we've had a lot of issues with our um with our shipment over here in australia but you can get a digital copy over there as well as digital copies of all of my prints i will be making some digital copies of these sketchbooks as well and selling those uh, very soon however go to the website use code welcome 10 all one word to get 10 percent off your first order international shipping included thank you so much everybody for watching i really do appreciate you sitting down and going through this sketchbook with me as i said plenty more where that came from i have been your host jordan t mystic go and draw something ladies and gentlemen go and draw something go and paint something do yourself a favor have some creative time regulate that body of yours i really love sketching because it really helps me regulate my emotions and my my body and my day to day i do it in the evening i do it in the morning i do it as much as i possibly can and go and watch that morning routine video because you'll understand a little bit more about my sketching process and how i managed to do this and how the compounding interest of me doing it once a day causes me to fill these sketchbooks once a month ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for watching i have been your host jordan t mystic have a wonderful day and as always ladies and gentlemen stay weird <laughs>